So hi, I'm Barry, and uh, this is the uh, first half of my completed uh, computer-controlled XY table. I built this table so that I can uh, drill little tiny holes for making printed circuit boards. You can see there's a dime, right? And I need to drill holes that are accurate to be able to, you know, correctly get uh, a chip with all these. Here's one with 40 pins. Uh, if you don't get these holes drilled correctly in a printed circuit board, you're going to have a hell of a time getting the parts in there. Plus, if you get that many pens, it's really a pain in the ass to have to center those all. So I decided to make this uh, XY table, this is just the X part of it, to uh, work with my cheap little uh, Harbor Freight drill press. And what I got going on here is power supply that came out of some... Um, some piece of equipment that I tore apart that somebody threw in a garbage at work, so I took it. And that power supply is good. It works. It helps power this uh, huge uh, stepper motor here, which uh, controls the XY table. And what we got here is a PIC microcontroller. And what we'll do is we'll use like a PC to be able to feed CAD information. And that CAD information will move the XY table to the positions where I want to be able to drill holes. Uh, the PIC microcontroller comes over to this circuit board here that I made. I designed the circuit board with the uh, open source uh, PCB uh, circuit board layout tool. And printed this to the back of a magazine cover and then ironed it to a piece of copper clad board and then etched it in uh, chemical etchant. Then drilled all these holes manually, put in these diodes and these power transistors here. Now I had this other guy here which used half of an H-bridge, but uh, I couldn't test the part first. It was a used part. I spent two days building this damn thing and uh, come to find out there was an internal short in that chip. And I was not about to go and do that again. So I went ahead and uh, built this guy here. Uh, this guy will control two stepper motors. Instead of having two separate controllers for two stepper motors, I multiplex it by using a, uh, a relay here. So I can use just one guy here uh, to control two motors and it will run motor one at a time. The uh, XY table here, this stuff is made out of MDF that I picked up at Home Depot. Painted it blue. Uh, the stepper motors from a local supply place here and all the rest of the components are either from Home Depot or Supply Hardware. Simply what we got here is some channel, some, uh, channel aluminum here along with some, uh, some angle aluminum here. And what I did was uh, actually drill these holes kind of loose because I will not be able to get these things perfectly centered and perfectly aligned. So the whole idea here is that uh, you bolt this guy down and then with these guys kind of loose you can align them up so that the uh, tray will you know be precise and stuff and there's no bearings this thing just kind of slides back and forth so then uh, well without further ado we can actually make this guy move so if I wanted to move him back an inch I could uh, punch in a command here hyper terminal but uh, this will be done under computer control normally and then this guy will start moving As you can see he's moving that guy about an inch I want to go back I can go back again we'll go back two inches here there he goes man really happy to have finally gotten this thing done now what's cool is the res stepping resolution here with the software as it stands is almost ten thousandths of an inch is that right yeah it's almost ten thousandths of an inch because of the way the stepper motor is geared uh, towards this gear here and uh, if I modify the software a little bit I can get half of ten thousandths of an inch so um, that's definitely a lot more resolution than I need I need about a hundred um, hundreds of an inch would be fine for me and how accurate it is I don't know there's probably some randomness because you know this is not a precise thing but you know for the home hobbyist this thing is going to work out really well um, pretty damn happy to get it done you can do little steps and uh, that's it, you know, just run this thing and what will happen is I'll uh, step this guy to the hole 
that he needs to go to and then I'll just pull down the lever on the uh, drill press, drill the hole, hit a button then he'll step to the next one, and so on and so on. Um, so like I said, this is half a one. There's going to be another unit that looks just like this, and this guy will just sit on top. And uh, there it is. I'm pretty damn happy that uh, this thing is finally complete. Good day.